So we were here at West Thumb Geyser Basin in Yellowstone. Just drove up from the Tetons. I want to see some uh, some steam, some steamy water. That's what Yellowstone's known for is its steam. Just some bubbling pools of stuff. <laughs> oh look, some piece of shit threw their garbage in there. I guess we got to be the adult and go in there and clean it up. <laughs> Just kidding, it's pretty hot in there. Steamy. That is some hot water. So blue, turquoise. Yeah, I thought so too. They say there's more in other basins. Yeah, I thought I'd be smelling sulfur. We were at the Thumb Geyser area in Yellowstone, right off of Yellowstone Lake. It's pretty cool over here. Just a bunch of steam. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Right, I just want to go for a swim. Looks like a nice hot tub. What if you shoot a match that will Wow, it's so blue and beautiful and so hot. Ooh, that is steamy. Ooh. You can feel that sulfur steam. You just hear bubbling, boiling water. Yellowstone Lake. All right, on to the next thing as we fly through Yellowstone in one day. Anyone who happens to be watching this, don't fly through a place like this like we're doing. We didn't even plan on coming here up until a week ago. So if we would have planned this more in advance, we probably would end up staying like a week out here to see every possible thing. We are in the mud volcano area now. Mud cauldron. So we got some more extremely 
hot and steamy pools of water. This is pretty cool. So we're at the Mud Volcano area in Yellowstone. That is some hot mud. I guess that's it. We're actually gonna, we're gonna do the Pacific Northwest, go down to California if we can, if it's not on fire. And then we're gonna pass right through Nevada and Utah to do Zion and Arches. So this is Dragon's Mouth Spring. And now it's very clear why it's called Dragon's Mouth. There's a constant churning of heat and noise. It's like the mouth of a dragon about to breathe out some fire. How are you in there, bird? Isn't that hot? It's feet. It's little tiny feet. We just saw a bird in there. Just standing in there. He keeps lifting its tail out of the water. It's too hot. Man, so mud volcano slash dragon's breath spring. That was pretty cool. On to the next attraction. So now we're gonna check out Sulphur Cauldron. Wow, look at that. Sulphur Cauldron. That really smells, and I don't want to inhale this for too long. Poison gas. Very sulfury. Reminds me of the smell of fireworks growing up as a kid. Man, it's the real deal. You fall down there, you're fucking dead. So we are at Uncle Tom's Point, which is one of the many lookouts of the canyon. The Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, as the sign said. So after getting really lucky and finding a spot, we are checking out Steamboat Geyser at the Norris Geyser Basin here in Yellowstone. The Norris area, dangerous ground. Wow, that's a huge steam vent. Wow, that is a lot of steam. This geyser basin. I think it's called the porcelain basin. And I'm not sure where steamboat geyser is supposed to be. It's like a little mini lake of just steam and really hot water and sulfur.
I now understand why Yellowstone is such a popular destination. Geologically speaking, there's probably no other place on earth like it. This is a geologist's wet dream. Come out here and do some graduate study probably. So we saw a map and we're gonna head up towards Steamboat Geyser. Philetus Norris. Philetus Norris. So we made the Steamboat Geyser. Is this the highest geyser in the world? Yeah, when it, when it erupts, highest geyser in the world. Well, Tulsa is the active geyser. Okay, Tulsa the active geyser. Thank you. I'm not as smart and prepared as some of these folks are, so I'm not sure if I want to <laughs> stick around for this eruption. It goes anywhere from an uh, interval of three days to 50 years. Wow. <laughs> so anywhere from three days to 50 years, this gentleman has just educated me on this thing erupts. To its full potential for the last three he years. He was 22 it's, it's when he got like here. Three and a half, seven and a half. Right, I hope you got wow. a lot of food. We're a little, little beyond six and a half. Right We're a little beyond six and a half years? Days. Days, okay. Yeah. You said it's anywhere from like from three days to six it years? Like 50 years between eruptions. Wow. wow. Once went 50 years between eruptions, or it could be three days. <laughs> the beauty of the Earth's geology. There she blows, literally. Steamboat geyser. <laughs> so much geology. No, 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 everyone's waiting around to see it do something for real. So Nicole and I feel we've seen enough geysers and yeah. sulfuric pools of <laughs> steam and water. Uh, we're going to keep heading north towards the Mammoth Hot Springs. What's this called? Roaring Mountain. That is one mountain that is full of steam. So we're here at the Canary Springs, right next to Mammoth Hot Springs, or maybe it's a part of Mammoth Hot Springs. And this is some pretty cool geological features here as well.